I have this cow that I sketched on a piece of computer paper and I will make sure that I have a PDF for you guys that you can print and recreate this. And I just taped it down on some cardboard and I am using a pen to just trace around the cow head. I'm just removing the tape so I could continue to trace fully around. You could put a smaller piece of tape probably. Next, I'm just going to use a pair of scissors to cut the cardboard. If you have a razor blade, that would probably work as well. And you can also recreate this with wood if you have the proper power tools for that. And this is actually one of the cardboard poster boards that we get right from the Dollar Tree. So I just cut that completely out. Next, I'm going to take some Wise Owl black paint and cover the entire cow head. I want to make sure I get good full coverage, but you don't want to wet it too much as the cardboard can start to curl a little. I allowed that to fully dry, and once I was fully dry, I then took some Wise Owl Snow Owl, and I'm going to paint on top of the black. Now you can just do a light dry brush. I decided to put it on a little heavier, because it was showing a lot of the texture from the cardboard. So I basically just put the snow owl on top of the black. And then again, you want this to fully dry. Once completely dry, I took some painter's tape. This is one inch painter's tape. And I'm going to start about two and a half inches down from the top of the head here. And I'm going to just make really small pinch stripe marks. And I'm going to use a small piece of painter's tape as my spacer before I add my next two pieces for the pinch stripe. And I just repeated that until I had these pinch stripes going down the entire cow head. You can make these pinstripes as thick as you want. I like them to be pretty small. I'm using a Gen Foam brush and some of my Antique Walnut General Finishes Gel Stain. I apply it and then I just rub it in with a paper towel. You need a very small amount for this. And then you can lift up the painter's tape. And again, before you lay the painter's tape down, make sure your paint is fully dry so you don't ruin that part. And once everything was dry, I then took my sandpaper, and you can distress in areas. You can go heavier in some, and this is what we have so far, so that the black starts to peek through the white a little bit. And then the pinstripes kind of make it look like wood, so the slats of wood together. I have this artificial greenery, and I'm just cutting a couple pieces, and I'm going to put them in the top right corner here. Next I have this black and white gingham ribbon and I'm going to make a bow. I'm just going to make a very basic bow with the two loops. And before I pull it nice and tight, I'm just going to make sure the fabric is laying in the direction that I want it to. And then I pull tight and just pull down on the tails here. And this is a wired ribbon, so I'm just fluffing up the two loops. Again, very basic, and I'm just using my pinking shears to cut the ends of the tails. And then I'm going to glue all of that down. I'm just going to use some hot glue. I just need a small amount. And then I'll use some hot glue to hold the ribbon in place as well. Next, I got this picture frame from Hobby Lobby. I like to go in the clearance aisle, and it's just the wooden frame. It was $4.99. I'm going to take some jute in my handheld stapler, and I'm just going to staple the jute to the top of the frame here. That's going to be my hanger. And I didn't do anything to the frame. This is how I bought it. And I'm just going to glue the cow head on top of the frame.
And there we go, now we have this very easy farmhouse wall decor made from cardboard. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will make sure I get you all a PDF so you can make your own. Have a great day.